So at this point, we got to think to ourselves, why are both the movies that we're reviewing this week about food? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it is another new episode of Movies That Don't Suck and Some Do. My name is Neil. And I'm Chris. And today we got two movies about food. Yeah, they're both right? movies, but yeah, yeah, I think so. Uh, but we're back after two weeks. We're bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. We hope you are, too. We're also uh, on early for you uh, morning birds. You are not bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. I don't even think you've woken up yet. I'm fine, dude. You, you need to do a couple... You, you, dude, your eyes look like you're barely like. Well, you, I are they open? Bro? They're, they're open, but I, I, I can't like. I are, can't. Are you stoned? No, I feel fine, dude. It's just, I can't change the physical characteristics of my face, but I sound awake to you. I, I think. I oh, think, there you are. Oh, 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 dude! I can see it. There you are. There you are. Oh, there you are. <laughs> hey, come on, Chris. Look at you. Look, your eyes are open there now. Okay. Oh, you oh, see? Oh, I see you. There you go. There yeah. you. Oh, there you are. I'm looking. There you are. I'm looking a little bit are. like Uncle Fester, but 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 I mean, but uh, yeah, I shaved yesterday and uh, it, it, a little bit. It's just that it was getting like like. There you go. You got some dark circles under your eyes. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm a bit tired. But, but um, All right, let's actually introduce the movies. Yeah. All right, so the first movie that we are reviewing today is the Menu, featuring Ralph Venus. Actually, it goes Ray Fines. They don't, for some reason, they don't pronounce the L in this. But oh yes, yeah, we we totally had this conversation the last time we did a movie. Oh, so with it's them. Ray yes. Fines. Take you with yeah. me. Yes. Put out your hand. Feel this. That's a shotgun rebound. A Twelve gauge Magnum. Do you know what it'll do? I wish I could have trusted you. I wanted to trust you. You, you felt so good. So did you, T. Please don't hurt me now. It's all over for me. Yeah, that's from Red Dragon, right? Yeah. Um, Neil's chewing. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Neil, no, I'm not, I'm not chewing anything. What are you talking about? I, I literally saw your wife give you a sandwich just a second ago. But uh, uh, who else? Also in this movie, Anna Taylor Joy. Anya Taylor Joy. He says no deal. That's what I said, Mr. Shelby. You smell of jail, Gina, and you drink too much. <laughs> yes, but booze is legal. <laughs> your white powder is not. Jack has friends in the government now. Do you have any idea of how far he's risen? All the way to the fucking top. Can't have white powder on his shiny black boots when he's on his way to meet the President of the United States, because, yeah, that's where he goes now. So he can't really be taking such a big risk on such a little deal. Go home, boy. Bye-bye, Mr. Shelby. God, fucking, from the Peaky Blindness. God, that uh, she's so good, man. She's so good. You're silent. <laughs> You're so- Sorry, I had my microphone muted. I just realized that. Uh, but anyway, um, I just had this conversation last night with someone that, like, she is literally in everything. I love it, too. Bring it on. Put her in everything. I'm fine with it. I love it. No, her. no, no. They, they, they want they, they want. Holland to stop. They want uh, you. You broke. You came out. You broke up. What did? You, what they want to stop? To start over. They want her and Tom Holland to stop. They want them to take a break, take it, take a year <laughs> off to stop. Oh, uh, do you want her to stop though? Bring it on. <laughs> Bring it on. I don't know, man. We had this huge argument last night. We were, we were almost stabbing each other. Okay. Well. Weird. Okay. Uh. Who else is in also, this Also, Nicholas Holt is in this movie. Hold my hand. I'm not scared. And I'm not holding your hand. But if we see it, I will have a split second to act. If I'm not sure where you and Paul are, I will spend that split second making sure you're all right and will be killed. 
If I have your hand, I will know. I will act on instinct. Soft hands. I remember that from when we first danced. I remember how much I hated you. And yet, you could dance. Mm. Killing, dancing, eating. My many talents. I meant pussy, by the way. Eating. I know you did. That's from the Grand Hinton Eat Pussy. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, yeah. yes. I mean, it's one of your favorite things. So, I mean, you know yeah, very well. Yeah, definitely. Devil. I mean, d- d- who doesn't? I mean, you've eaten a lot of cats in your life, dude. I mean, seriously, you're almost Alaskan at this point. Alaskan? What? Uh, that doesn't make okay. Whatever. I, I'm, I'm not going to try to make that make sense for me. Alaskan people eat cats and dogs. Oh, you, are you talking about the? Okay, I didn't know that. Okay, well that's. You didn't know that. No, no, that's that's upsetting. Um, uh, that's, how is that upsetting? You I, eat cows. Yeah, I know, but uh, I don't know. It's just you eat chickens. You got chickens in your backyard. Three of them. Yeah, yeah. I guess I guess it's not a big deal. Um, uh, who else is in this movie, dude? <laughs> uh, Judith Light. Yeah. And by, by Who's the, the boss? I, uh, I just wanted to let you know. I, I also had John Leguizamo in this. Because no one under the age of 40 knows who Judith Light is. But here's Judith Light. Mm, hey, Judith Light? Is, who's the boss? Exactly. I said no one under the age of 40 knows who that is. Everybody knows who it is. Mm, dinner sure smells good. <laughs> so, what happened? Did you save the account? No. Actually, in point of fact, we lost it. But we did get some things straightened out. Oh, well... That's good, right? Well, of course it is. What did you tell them? Uh, well, I just laid it all out for them. I told them that people have to replenish themselves. And that was the way I was running my life. And that was the way I was running this company. And if they didn't like it, they could get a wimp like Jim Peterson for president. A wimp? Ah, I love it. I love it. I'm right, Angela. We the hang up. What'd they say? Congratulations, Jim. Ain't that right, Angela? That's t- Tony Danza, but that was you thought he was talking. Um, and finally, in this movie, we got, what are you looking at? I can't tell. <laughs> oh, you're, you're doing the Frosty. Uh, guys, for some reason, Neil is going to spend half this podcast eating his food. But uh, I will go ahead and say that. You want to say the Dude, last one? I'm seriously, like right now, I'm going to tell you this right now. I am totally like Rick and Morty with the, the Wendy's breakfast shit right now. Okay. All right. Uh, do you want to say who the last person I pulled the clip? Oh, from I forgot. Was? You don't watch TV. You don't watch TV, so you don't know that there's a commercial that uh, there's been commercials with Rick and Morty where the 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 Wendy's breakfast food has been stalking Rick yeah, and I, Morty. Yeah, I, 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 I don't watch a commercial. I don't watch terrestrial television. So, uh, but I do watch Rick and Morty. But, yeah, it's but, okay. I understand. You don't watch anything important. Like I'm sure you don't even know who won the World Series. Uh, you're right. I don't know, uh, dude. We got one more actor to talk about in this movie. You know who won the World Series? No, who who won? I don't. I, I don't care. The Houston <laughs> Astros. They're from fucking Texas. Yeah, yeah. I thought my, you would know since uh, you're from. I Texas. wouldn't know if it was the Texas the Texas Rangers, but I didn't. I, I didn't follow the Astros. Uh, Astros. Anyway, <laughs> uh, John Lugidasi Mia, also known as the Violator. Yeah, John Lugidasi. Great, great job. That's a clip I pulled. It's all yes, God. Master and I are gonna have words. He knows I hate clowns. God, I hate them. I hate them all. I hate Paul's old Ronald Chuckles with their freaking dumb noses and their lousy party hats. I don't mind being short, fat, and ugly, but the pay sucks. <laughs> yeah, uh, so did you like that, the Spawn movie from 1997? Uh, the CGI sucks. Oh, yeah. When you go back and watch but it it's today. Not, it's 1997. It is, like, horrifically bad. But back in 97, that, that was, uh, that was, I that was, absolutely loved yeah, it. Yeah, it was cutting edge back then. That, you were like, look at the special effects. And this. the soundtrack to that movie, oh, the, the mesh-ups with, uh, like, Metallica and the Chemical Brothers. Because mm-hmm. uh, um, all every song was a mesh-up mm-hmm. of two bands. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't just one band. That was a really uh, ambitious. Filter with Crystal Method yeah. for Can't You Trip Like I Do, Long Road Out of Hell, by Marilyn Manson. Oh yeah. The, the, the whole out. the whole um, movie was pretty ambitious, just not very good. But um, but what's the second we're talking about today? I, I'm sorry that you don't like Martin Sheen, dude. It's your fault. 
I have a new. I'm pretty indifferent to Martin Sheen. I mean, I like the what? I mean, <laughs> I like my little Jay White though. All right, and then the second movie that we're we're watching this week is Glass Onion. Man, we're taking a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah sorry. <laughs> All right, Glass Onion uh, is the other movie that we were watching this week, guys, featuring Daniel Craig. Yes, you did. Yes, he did. Yes, you are. But but, I spoke in the car about the hole at the center of this donut. And what you and Harlan did that fateful night seems, at first glance, to fill that hole perfectly. A donut hole in a donut's hole. But we must look a little closer. And when we do, we see the donut hole has a hole in its center. It is not a donut hole, but a smaller donut with its own hole. And our donut is not a hole at all. Mark, look, I understand that this is amusing for you. Why was I hard? Yeah, uh, so that's from Benoit Blanc from uh, Knives Out and in this movie, Glass Onion. Yeah. So they put a great scene, by the way, mm-hmm. three years ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, you mentioned three also years ago. Also in this movie, yeah. the greatest actor in the last 10 years, at least, maybe the last 20 years, one of the greatest actors of all time, the one, the only, Edward Norton. Hold the phone. You're telling me. The kidnet is finally ready to pursue a show of smoochy caliber. I mean, to commit to smooch equality. Yes, I believe we're ready to push ourselves to that level. Oh, I knew it! I knew it! I knew it. I knew it. If I waited long enough, I knew that somebody was going to come along one day, took a look at me, and understood what I do. That's you, isn't it? You get me. I'm afraid so. Well, Nora Wells, Miss VP of Development, let's you and me go make some history. Yeah, Death to Smoochie. You play Smoochie. You can't find that anywhere. Oh, the movie? I literally, yeah, yeah, I had to download it because literally nobody has it on any fucking platform. Yeah, some movies, just have, some movies that I remember very well just fucking disappeared. You know? Yeah. Uh, Same thing with TV shows like Night Court and WKRP. Uh, yeah, you'll have to buy, buy the DVD set if you want to watch them. Mm-hmm. No shit. <laughs> All right. Also in this movie, the one, the only, Kate Hudson. We are not groupies. This is Penny Lane, man. Show some respect. Groupies sleep with rock stars because they want to be near someone famous. We're here because of the music. We are Band-Aids. She used to run a school for Band-Aids. We don't have intercourse with these guys. We support the music. We inspire the music. We're here because of the music. Mark Boland broke her heart, man. It's famous. It's a long story. I'm retired now. Visiting friends. Yeah, uh, from Almost Famous, Penny Lane. Almost Famous. Yeah. One of the best movies ever mm-hmm. in the history of mankind. Pretty good. Pretty good movie. All right. And... Also in this movie, Dave Batista. You didn't give me that clip. You gave me Janelle Monáe. Wait a minute. So on the other movie, you went and looked for something and put added it, but you could not add like Dave Batista from WrestleMania. You for didn't a tell me add Dave Batista. Literally wearing a WrestleMania hoodie. It was two a.m. when I put the shit together, but um, uh, I'm just kidding. I know, I knew I didn't do that. I was just fucking with you. All right, uh, Jen, uh, Janelle Monae is Your Honor. the next one. Your Honor, you of all people should understand the importance of being first. How's that, Mrs. Jackson? Well, you were the first in your family to serve in the armed forces, U.S. Navy, the first to attend university. What's the point? I plan on being an engineer at NASA. But I can't do that without taking them classes at that all-white high school. And I can't change the color of my skin. So I have no choice but to be the first. Which I can't do without you, sir. Your Honor, out of all the cases you're going to hear today, which one is going to matter 100 years from now? Which one is going to make you the first? So yeah, that's from Hidden Figures, uh, a pretty good movie. Uh, I, I I'm not a fan of like uh, here some music to tell you how to make you feel, but yes, yeah, you know, man, he's great in it. But Glass Onion, yeah, yeah I mean, Hidden Figures was a great movie. Yeah, um, 
it really showed the how white people put down the black yeah, people absolutely. for like so many years yeah, yeah. and that how white people are a bunch of racist bitches. Yeah, they yeah. are. Yeah. yeah. Who were talking about yourself? What, my dog screaming for some reason. Um but um yeah, uh I, I'm I'm not white, I'm Irish. That's the same thing. No it isn't. Yeah it is. No it isn't. Yeah, th- then you could say that I'm not white, I'm a re- Norwegian. You'd say that. Or I'm not white and no, Latvian. No, that's different. Or are you saying I'm not white and Latvian? Or you say I'm not white. I'm Irish because I'm Irish in me too. No, no, no. That's not. Don't don't put down my people like that, bro. Uh, your people. You're fucking. Uh, okay, let's let's keep going. Um, <laughs> you can find us on the movies. Don't send that network on Facebook. Facebook.com slash movies. Don't send podcast. What Twitter? MTS podcast for Instagram. MTS podcast. Uh, you can find us on um, Patreon. Patreon.com slash movies. Don't suck. We have bonfire with the shirts and shit. Bonfire.com slash movies. Don't suck. And some of you. And uh, if you're watching you and YouTube, go and subscribe. Watch on Facebook, like the page. Uh, you can email us at info movies don't suck dot net or movies don't suck podcast at gmail com. And where everybody find podcasts, where you find podcasts, you find movies that don't suck and some that do. Uh, who, what do we do for small businesses? If you got a small business, we'll advertise you just like we're going to advertise this one, Roosevelt. Oh wow, wow. I'm sorry, I belched in the middle of that. Completely messed up my food. Let's do that again. Okay. And one, two, and three. Roosevelt's. Yes, Roosevelt's here and right here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. It's at 1551 East 15th Street, 101 Tulsa, Oklahoma. Now, Chris, I know you haven't been here, but look at this. Look at this. Are you ready for this I'm shit? I'm ready for this shit. Yeah. It's a three hour wait uh-huh. if you go to Roosevelt's uh-huh. at this time of the season. And this is why. Do you see the inside of that oh, restaurant? It's, it's all it's all Christmassy. <laughs> Look at that! Like seriously, me me and my wife and my uh, in laws went last year. Mm-hmm. Are you, are you going to go this year? Uh, I don't know, man. It, it's seriously a three hour wait. Uh, so I mean, I get, like you you had had like planned to do something like we'll eat Roosevelt's three hours from now. But we we literally last year we went and sat at a bar for three hours and had drinks. At a different bar down the road, <laughs> with our vibrating thing, yeah. waiting for for the thing to go. But uh, Roosevelt every year does a great Christmas. Uh, you can't see the pictures, but um, it is a great Christmas time uh, thing. Now they are located in the heart of Cherry Street. They are a locally owned and family operated gastro pub. They proudly source their ingredients from local farms throughout Oklahoma. Their in house bakery allows them to provide the freshest bread and baked goods, not only to Roosevelt's, but other local restaurants in the area. They specialize in craft beer with over 80 beers on tab. Their wine list is created by some of the best in town, and their cocktails are seasonal, as are their farmer's market menu. If you haven't brunched with them, well, their menu changes weekly and their fromos aka frozen mimosas pair with everything again located at 1551 east 15th street in Tulsa, oklahoma please contact them via the contact form if you got any questions or you want to reserve a table which takes three hours this time of year (laughs) but look forward they look forward to seeing you soon now seriously if you get a chance Seriously, Roosevelt's, it, the food is ridiculous. The beers, like I said, 80 beers on tab. So if you're a beer drinker, great place. Uh, beautiful atmosphere, 100%. It is Roosevelt's. It, uh, you can look them up at roosevelt's.com or Roosevelt's Tulsa on Facebook. So, you know, we're talking about food. I think we should probably talk about the, the first movie. Your face? The menu. We should talk about the menu. Your face here. Look, 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 look. look. Oh, there's your face. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. I don't look there's your face. Um, <laughs> uh, let's talk about the the menu. Uh, directed by Mark Mylod. Uh, he's directed. Things, he did mostly TV. He did stuff. Uh, he did stuff for Succession, uh, Shameless, Game of Thrones, The Affair, and this is a. Uh, yeah, this is his first like big movie, uh, written by Seth Tracy and Will Rice. Um, once you uh, the stars Ray Fiennes as Chef Slowick, take you with me. Uh, Anya Taylor Joy as Margot. He says no deal. Uh, Nicholas Holt as Tyler. 
hold my hand. I'm not scared. And I'm not holding your hand. But if we see it, I will have a split second to act. Also, uh, Jan Gutierrez as Lillian, Paul Adelstein as Ted, John Leguizamo as movie star. It's all yes, God. Master and I are going to have words. He knows I hate clowns. Also, uh, Edith Carreo as Felicity, Reed Burney as Richard, Judith Light as Anne. Mmm, dinner sure smells good. Also, Rebecca Kuhn as Linda, Rob Yang as Bryce, Arturo as uh, Castro as Soren, and Mark, Mark St. Cyr as Dave. Why don't you go ahead and read the storyline for this one, pal? No. <laughs> so you're never ready <laughs> when I say it. <laughs> Sorry. A young couple travels to a remote island to eat at an exclusive restaurant where the chef has prepared a lavish menu with some shocking surprises. And there are definitely shocking surprises in this movie. Uh, oh, you know what? If we're going to talk about a movie about food, you know, we, we need to be in a dining room. We do. We, I think we do. There we go. There we yeah. go. We're in a nice little dining room. And then on top of that, you know, maybe uh, we get another picture of you up there. There we go. There you are. <laughs> are you just finding picture of Baldwin? <laughs> what? No. No. Oh, oh, you know what? I found the perfect one. Anyway. Um, <laughs> I guess I guess, I guess. guess I'll take a, a screenshot so people can see what Neil's talking about and post it on the episode, but. I don't know what you're talking about. But anyway, um, wow. What about this movie do you hate? I love this movie. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, this movie, um, I don't want to give too much no, away. Man, it's hard oh, to... Oh, Chris, I found you again. I mean, I would, I would be okay with that. Oh, oh, dude, there you are with glasses. There you are. <laughs> oh, there you go. Okay, but anyway. Um, this movie is seriously one of the... Uh, awesomest movies of this year. I freaking loved it. It was. Um, it's very. It's one of the most creative movies I've seen this year. Easy, easy. I mean, I really feel like the two movies that we are talking today are. I, I want to say reflections of each other. Yeah. But like, it's literally mystery, who done it, kind of. You know, with a, a crazy cast of characters mm. that you yeah. know, just you don't know what you're getting when you first. I mean, you kind of understand by looking at a uh, one of the videos or one of the trailers that you know what you're stepping into is going to be a little crazy, the, a little. But both the trailers are like are great in not giving away main plot points of these movies, and like I was, I was shocked by both these. I mean, mm-hmm. you know, like but but the menu definitely shocking, definitely great. Oh, sorry. Fucking, it's, what was it's that? <laughs> it was like it was like a single hiccup, you know. Like I don't know what's going I on. I never heard you make that noise ever. Yeah, I'm gonna cut it out. <laughs> no, you're not. Don't cut that out. All right, continue. All right. Keep it's going. the menu. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, uh, uh, sorry, uh, I said Seth. It's Seth. Written by Seth Rice and Will Tracy. Um, like he says, Will Tracy came up with the idea while visiting Norway. Um, but. Mm-hmm. Uh, by the way, have you ever eaten a menu that costs twelve fifty, like a, a, a meal, like one of those super expensive meals? Have I ever gone to a place that costs uh, twelve uh, twelve hundred dollars? Yeah, yeah. I think you know the answer to that. Uh, no, right? Uh, no, fuck no. <laughs> I mean, I mean, there's one time mm-hmm. I did have a, a rich family take me up to um, the seventy fifth floor of the John Hancock Building. Oh yeah. <clears throat> in Chicago. Yeah. And like literally it had like quail egg. you could get like a quail egg omelet. Like there's a whole buffet. Uh-huh. Yeah. There's caviar. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, there yeah. was like like it was like literally it was and he he had to be suit and tie. Yeah, yeah. Which I didn't have at the time because <laughs> I was poor as fuck. So I went to like Goodwill yeah. and bought a suit and tie that did not fit me yeah, yeah. at all. Yeah. Like the pants were way too short for me. It looked like, <laughs> I look like Poindexter. I don't know. But anyway, um, I think the most I ever paid for a singular meal for myself was 400 bucks. Yeah. 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 Uh, I mean, we have talked about once in our life when we do one of those really expensive meals, but it's gotta be like a super special occasion. And it, it, it once in our life sort of thing. But, uh, the menu, uh, I, when did you see it? Yeah, I saw. I had to wait until Thursday to see it. Actually, I was so busy. 
That's why we're. I saw it. I saw it like two weeks ago. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I, I seriously, I, I don't remember exactly what day, yeah. but it was two weeks ago. Yeah, and it's it stuck with you at least um, because this movie. Is... Uh, yeah, I mean, it was easy to stick with me. This movie was freaking amazing. I mean, um, the villainy. Okay. How how do you talk about this without? Oh, I guess you can talk about it without giving it too much away. Yeah. Um, it is literally like a, a thriller, like mystery, like not who done it, but like more of like why are these people going through the it's troubles def- and the tribulations that they're going through? It's def- definitely a thriller, and like with twelve characters able to use them all really well. Everyone acts fantastic. Like the acting in this, none of it's bad. All of it's really good, and Ray finds. He's just the greatest sort of fucking, like, his character is so fucking cool in this movie. You know? Chef. Yeah, cool. like, every every character in this movie is pretty cool. And Anya Taylor-Joy is great. Uh, Nicholas Holt is great. Um, I'm sure, yeah, Judith. No, everybody is great. That, that is, uh, Judith Light is literally just knocks them all out of the park. <laughs> Come on. Uh, you, you think she goes? She's amazing. <laughs> Man, hey, do, hey, do you she's love, the boss. You love the boss. You love to use the boss, I'm sure. So, yeah. Who's the boss is one of the greatest TV sitcoms of all time. And again, another show you can't find streaming anywhere. Why are the good shows not available? You mean the shows you watched as a young man? <laughs> right? uh, like, uh, no, no, not me. Literally the entire fucking nation. That show went on for eight years, bro. A show doesn't go on for eight years. Like, I mean, Night Court went on for 10 years. All right, I mean, why, are, why aren't these shows are, like are, extreme? Are, we're not, is this old guy TV vault? <laughs> what are we doing here? So, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay. So uh, the menu, um, I, I don't want to, like you said, you don't want to leave a lot away, but. The the story on said all you need to know about it, but basically that people are going to have a uh, meal and a remote island, a very expensive meal on a remote island, and the chef is is like world renowned for his food. Um, man. Okay, so like literally, um, it, yeah, it is it it it's people getting uh stuck on an island, like literally, and. Some bad things happen that the chef kind of puts in, in play. And besides that, uh, let's talk about the good stuff. All right. The acting. Yeah, fantastic. Ridiculously well. Oh, yeah. The the set, the setup for this was completely amazing. Uh-huh. Um, the uh, the uh, characters playing off of each other was intense. There are parts to this that just, you just, did not see coming and it, like even the ending itself uh without giving anything away it was like just like oh, man dude the, the way that was play, pulled off i was super fucking impressed by that because like yeah you, you know, you're at a point like how do they end this you know satisfyingly and they fucking did it you're like yeah you're, you're like how they pulled that off like they were able to pull some sort of movie magic cuz there's a concept and you're sort of supposed to the concept, you go through all that. Hey there. And, um, uh, they do the concept, and they pull some sort of, you know, writing magic. Because a lot of people that, they're like, okay, here's the premise, and we'll find our way out of it, right? And they found the perfect way. Uh, you guys who are just listening, Neil's just pulling up pictures of Baldwin. Because uh, I apparently, <laughs> I shaved. I, I shaved the other day, and I have headphones on, so it looks like I'm also earless. But, um, but, um, <laughs> but he's, anyway, anyway, so yeah, so uh, a good thing about this movie is that it keeps you intent. Like, there's a lot of spots where you think you you know what's going to happen, mm-hmm. but you just don't. Like, it, it just it throws you through a loop. And uh, I remember when I saw this, it was a pretty packed house. Oh yeah, yeah. It wasn't like just it wasn't just like me and three other people. Like, there's a good like 40, 50 people in I this saw movie it, theater. I saw it Thursday at eight ten. And it was a full theater. So, in the morning? No, Damn. At night, yeah. At night. Oh. Yeah. It's not showing anywhere in the morning. I'm sure you know that, though. Um, but, uh, yeah, man, uh, fucking The Menu. Super stoked about this movie. I'm really glad I saw it. I'm glad that we, that we uh, because we, we were, before we left for break, we were, we were, like, we were 
waving over which, which movies we're gonna see. You know, we, we don't oh, no, the menu is never not on yeah, the yeah. list for that. The menu was the never menu not is on the always menu. on the list. The, the yeah, menu, never not on the menu. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah um, never. The menu is never not on the menu. Like we we very much clearly were like, yeah, we're watching this, and that's the bottom line because Neil said so. Yeah. But um, literally, um, the movie is great. The suspense is great. The um, the storyline uh, comes up really well with uh, some kind of surprises in there. Um, it is it is a nice suspense thriller. Mm-hmm. Uh, definitely, if, if this is one of those popcorn movies where you could just sit there and just relax, enjoy, and enjoy the, the show. Both both these movies are fantastic. But yeah, yeah, the menu. Uh, do you have quotes from the menu? Dude, I got like a million quotes. Let's you know me. Yeah, I, right. I wrote I wrote seven pages of quotes. <laughs> All right. Let's let's get Please to don't sm- please don't smoke. You will kill your palate. It's official. Tonight will be madness. Jesus, this is like the prom. Dinner is usually four hours and twenty five minutes long. Sorry, I apologize. I didn't know I was going to cough my brains out there. There he is. And he's looking at me. He's looking at me. I beg you one thing. Do not eat. I I, I can't go so fast today. What happens in this room is meaning less to what happens outside of it. Same rule, some rules you should follow, like give people food at a restaurant. You will eat less than you discreet and more than you deserve. What are these tortillas? No, what the fuck are these tortillas? You shouldn't be here tonight. Please get the fuck out of my way. No way. I can't read that. I, <laughs> I love my handwriting. It wasn't cod, you donkey. It was halibut. I think it was virgin halibut. Huh? I think you said virgin halibut. What are you fucking talking about? That, that, that quote, he, he didn't say ha- only his halibut. He says virgin halibut. That's what he says in it. I said halibut. I looked it up. He said to keep <laughs> eye contact while... He said to keep eye contact while we jerked off. Yeah. What? Uh, I I don't think that's in the movie, dude. Yeah, dude. He said to keep eye contact while he jerked off. That is in the movie. I forgot about that part. Yeah, yeah. 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 I thought you were. Happens, I thought you were talking to me about that. I was like, <laughs> what happens to? Yeah, well, Chris, keep eye contact while jerk off. Come here, buddy. Anyway, um, <laughs> What happens to artists when they lose purpose? It's pitiful. I was a monster. I was a whore. And I am doing this egoless. And my eyes were bigger than my stomach. Can I get the rest to go? Thank you for dining at Athorns. Ah, man. Uh, So my, my, uh, my score for this... Is easy. It's a, it's a four point three for me. This movie is fantastic. Yeah, I'll give it a four point two. I liked it. I loved it. Um, it was a good movie. Um, I, you know, there's a few things that could have changed a little bit, uh, but not much. I mean, this was a pretty good. This is a really well written movie. This is one of those movies I could watch four times in a row, and I don't think I'd get tired with it because I, I think I'd find something new in each time. I. I think that, uh, I think part of this, uh, it's hard for me to explain. I, I had a thought that it escaped me because it's whatever. But this movie is, it, I don't see a universe where this is not in my, can I talk now? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. Uh, I forgot that that means you. I don't see a universe where this is not my top 10 at the end of the year. You know? So I do. Okay, well, I, for me. You know why? Why? What's that? Because uh, yesterday or the day before, I can't remember, but I started going through the movies mm-hmm. that we've seen in the past oh, year. Oh, yeah, yeah. You were starting to follow your list? Okay. Yeah. 
And uh, buddy, it's going to be a hard one this year. <laughs> uh, by the way, I want to mention I found the perfect gift for you. I can't wait to bring it on the seven. Uh, yeah, thank you for not putting any pressure on me now. <laughs> well, no, no, don't worry about that. Uh, I, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, like literally last night in a bar yelling, "What the fuck do I get this guy?" Oh, don't worry about it, dude. I, I I'm more excited to get this to you than I am to receive one from you. So don't don't even I worry don't, about it. I don't know what to do now, Chris. <laughs> I, I've never gotten you a good gift, so well, you always have me good gifts, dude. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so the menu. Uh, that that's that. Um, you you said four points. Uh, four point two for you. Now. Yep. I'm on Rotten Tomatoes. What is the audience yes, score for yes, the yes. menu? Has to be an eighty-three percent. No man, it's seventy-eight percent. Yeah. Well, only off by five yeah, percent. Here's what like here's what the audience says: the menu's got a great cast and plenty of fun ones. Although the ending might strike some is a little tough to swallow. Mm, I I love the ending on this one. Uh, no, I mean you 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 did you did a. Uh... You are pretty hard to swallow, so I understand that. <laughs> what, is, uh, what is the critic score for the menu? 81. 89%. Oh! I'm, they're all in the same area. Chris, you know? since this is, while social commentary relies on basic ingredients, the menu serves up black comedy with plenty of flavor. Yeah, that's the menu. And it's 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 fantastic. It's, Your face it's is thrilling. Amazing. It's funny. It's it's all good. It's a good movie, and I'm I'm glad it exists. So, John, um, John, uh, uh, say his last name, John Leguizamo. Yeah, you know he based his character off of uh, Steven Seagal. That makes sense to me. <laughs> Apparently, he's a, a yeah, Steven Seagal's a huge dick. By the way, that's what I heard. He does have a huge dick. Yes, <laughs> you would know. Uh, do you have you have news for us, right? I think it's been two weeks. I'm sure you got some news. Oh, dude, it's been like two weeks. Yeah, I got to get some news together somehow. This is the movies that don't suck. It's some of them news. I'm going to read stuff to Chris. He's going to act like he likes it, or I'm going to kick him in the nuts. Nuts kicking time. Uh, all right, man. Uh, I know that one week was kind of a week off for entertainment outlets. You know, it was Thanksgiving week, but... What do you got for me? Your name is bitch. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? What do you got for me? I want to hear these news. You know, sometimes you're just really mean to me, and I just need you to be nice. I love you, pal. And, oh, so Neil's trying to I don't stall. Know if you do. No, I Neil's trying to stall because he has all these things he needs to pull up. <clears throat> I, 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 I'm okay. I think I got near it. Okay, there we go. Uh, Mandalorian Season 3 sets a March release for the return of the Star Wars spinoff series. So, everybody, March 1st, 2023, you get your Season 3 of The Mandalorian. Stop asking me. Fuck off. Let's move on. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Neil, what's the Mandalorian coming back? I don't fucking know, right? Yeah. yeah. I've been asked so many times, like, do you read news segment? When, when's that? <laughs> Paul Thomas Anderson is set to film his next movie in the summer of 2023. Okay, that's Ooh. that's that's kind of new. Like, like Paul Thomas Anderson usually does a movie like every like four years. That's pretty recent. So mm-hmm. I'm 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 good all about that. Mm-hmm. I'm all about. The, the... While the film has not yet been revealed, Anderson was said to have been developing a 1940s jazzville capturing the Little Harlem area of the city, specifically in South Central around Hotel Dunbar. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah whatever. So, yeah. Oh, hopefully it is. Yeah. Hey, do you like Elvis? I mean, kind of, yeah, sure. All right, Austin Butler's Elvis is getting a four-hour cut. I don't know if I can watch that, man, a four-hour cut of that movie. Four hours. It's a director's assemble. It's not a cut. There's a whole lot of material that adds up to four hours. Austin did his concerts completely, and he will, it will show he did all the numbers. Austin just did it and was out body experience to watch him do those full concerts. So one day I'm going to cut. I am cutting all these with the full concerts put in. Okay. I don't know if it's four hours, but we'll see what happens. 
Four hours. Yeah, four hours, man. That's a lot. Yeah. Uh, James Cameron has just wrapped on filming Avatar 3. Uh-huh. <laughs> has plans to all the way to Avatar 6 and 7. Dude, I, I can't. I don't know anyone who gives a fuck about the second one. I've talked to everyone. They're excited. Like, not really. No. Nobody cares. Yeah, yeah. It, it, too much time. You didn't do it fast enough. Yeah. You did it too. Hey, hey, man. Hey, hey, hey. Do, do you care about the uh, sequel to When Harry Met Sally? Uh, no, I don't. It's been 20 years. Yeah, because it doesn't exist, but still, it's 30, 40 years ago. <laughs> no, here's the thing about, about Avatar is that the, when that movie came out, James Cameron was sucking his own dick about how great he thought his own movie was, and it was okay. Like it was okay. I mean, it's the number one top movie of all time. And not anymore. It's been beaten. That yeah, is. Avatar is still the number one making movie of all time. Yeah, worldwide. Oh, hold on. Not domestically, worldwide. Oh, yeah. Uh, they, mm-hmm. By the way, yeah, people love Avatar overseas for sure. But this movie was, uh, it, it was, it's been 12 years. It, you know, it's, mm-hmm. I, I don't give a fuck about it. <laughs> I don't at all. So. But yeah, we'll see. We'll be yeah, seeing. You ever heard show. of Ang Lee? You ever yeah, heard of Ang Lee? Yeah, he did a movie last year, a couple of years ago with the Will Smith, um, Jim and I Man, which I didn't like. Yeah, and he did Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, yeah, Life of Pi. He did the Ice uh, Storm. Uh, Brokeback Mountain. Ice Storm, yeah. Brokeback Mountain, Ice Storm, yeah. Brokeback Mountain. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I can't believe Adam. Are you, what movies did you just like? Literally, you did not. And those three movies were the movies you should think of when you think of Ang Lee because they're both, those all three films are Oscar winning films. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I like, uh, I like, and you said a bunch of shitty movies. I, I said just the Ice Storm. Movie. I just said the Ice Storm, which is a good one. Whatever. Movie. But anyway, Ang Lee is going to be doing a biopic. Of somebody that he should know well, Bruce Lee. What? Well, oh, because they have the same last name. Is that what, is that what yeah, are they related? Name? I don't think so. Are they related? I don't think so. I think Lee's a pretty common no. last name. So. And Ang Lee has already chose the person to play Bruce Lee. Uh, who's in previous? And that's Mason Lee. Is, is that like his grandson or something? That is his son. Oh, Lee's son, Mason Lee. Oh, Mason Lee. I thought you were saying it was like Bruce Lee's son or something like that. Yeah, uh, he's going to be playing Bruce Lee in the film at Sony 3000 Pictures. Mm -hmm. So, by the way, uh, uh, adjusted for inflation, Avatar is the second highest grossing movie of all time after Gone with the Wind. Adjusted for inflation. But no, in, I, I don't believe that. No, but, no, 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 no. Fuck off. I don't believe in that inflation bullshit. Okay, Avatar remained the highest grossing... F- made the most money no, or listen, not. No, okay, Avatar remained the highest grossing film in the world for nearly a decade until it was overtaken by Avengers Endgame in 2019. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Anyway, uh, Tulsa King Season 2 has been green-lighted, so everybody in Tulsa get ready for Sly to come back. Yeah. So uh, he, I know he filmed the only part of it in Tulsa. I know he did part of it in Oklahoma City, too, as well. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, did, did you watch Tulsa King yet? Did you watch all of it? No, I haven't watched any of it. It's on Paramount Plus. I guess you can watch it whenever you want to. But Dude, I, I have only so much time in my life. Okay, it just seemed like you were really excited about it when it came out. five shows behind. Five shows behind. What are you watching I have now? four, maybe five movies that I want to watch that have nothing to do with their fucking yeah, podcast. Yeah, yeah. I saw. I have pro wrestling I watch. I work concerts, Chris. I have not had, I've had two calm. days off in 23 fucking days. Calm down. Do you think I got time to watch Fucking Sylvester Sloan hanging out in Tulsa. <laughs> Calm down. What what, what what shows you behind on? Right now. That's, I, I, that's not part of the I new just, segment. I just that's part watch, of, I'm hey, just... let's talk about this after the show okay. segment. Okay. Anyway, let's move on. Yeah. Only got 34 more fucking <laughs> statements to tell you. All right. You do realize we haven't been on for like two weeks, right? Yeah, of course. So you know there's two weeks of news stories. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited for it, dude. Okay. Then stop interrupting with dumb fucking questions. <laughs> I'm going to mute if you're going to be an asshole about it. <laughs> I'm not being an asshole. I'm just saying 
ask real questions. Nobody cares about what I watch on TV. Anyway, the Oscars are this year are going to air all 23 categories. Fucking wake me up when I'm ready. I guess that's a lot of categories, dude. The running time will be uh, three hours and 40 minutes. Man, I can't wait. We're gonna we're gonna do a live party. Yeah, we'll just do live commentary. I I do commentary and everything because yeah. I know how to do it right. Wilson's we'll gonna come there and yeah. slap her in someone else's shirt. How you doing, you bad bitch? You yeah, you're right there. there. Oh, oh, Poppy. To come to look at the next story, dude. The, stop, uh, oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry. Do you got any more dumb questions to ask? Anyway. Easy Rider Reboot. I don't think we need that. No, I don't think we do. <laughs> uh, I don't... Um, like, what... Are, their goal is to build upon the c- counterculture and freedom narrative the original left us with and give the youth of today a film that pays serious attention to their own countercultures and challenges. How the fuck do you... I don't get that. Uh if they if they significantly updated so it's no, nothing like the original, it might be good. So what's going to be our crotch rockets? I I don't know if we need. To, I don't. I know. mean, not crotch rockets. I'm sorry. Uh, ninja motorcycles. <laughs> what are they called? They called? Yeah, <laughs> yeah crotch rockets. They all pissed about crotch rockets. Yeah. Antonio Banderas has picked out his new Zorro that he wants to replace him. Oh, oh okay. I was about to say. So he picked out the actor to be new Zorro. Yes. Did they say who the actor is? Tom Holland. I don't know about that, man. Isn't he like, I, yeah, he like five Tom four, Holland's amazing. Like don't, five ever, four don't ever, <laughs> don't ever, ever, ever diss Tom Holland. All right. The movie The Iron Claw has uh, a few things this week. The Iron Claw uh, has found their Ric Flair. Uh, Aaron Dean Eisenberg to enter the ring as Ric Flair for Dean Durkin's wrestling film. Also joining the film is Jeremy Allen White, who will be playing Carrie, uh, Carrie Von Erich of the Von Erichs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He has already added 40 pounds of muscle. That's a lot of muscle. <laughs> Do you know who Jeremy Allen White is? No, yeah, tell me who that is. Do you not watch anything good? Uh, Shameless, uh, The Bear. Oh, you see him again, The Bear? Yeah, I've seen that. I've seen The Bear. Oh, but... Jamie, Jeremy Allen White. Okay. You don't know who Jeremy Allen White is? Yeah, I do. Okay, now I do. Yeah. I watch all The Bear. Bear's, in... Bear's a tremendous uh, show. Yeah. Bear's a tremendous show. So we got Zach Afron, Jeremy Allen White, Aaron. Like, I mean, it's it's coming up to be a good you, cast. You're, you're going to love this. You, 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 I mean, it's a wrestling film. We're probably super excited about it. Yeah, we're going to watch the hell out of it. <laughs> okay. We're going to have like a two-hour episode on it. <sighs> it's the Von Erics. You, you should really. You're from fucking Texas. Those are literally the number one heroes of the entire state of fucking Texas. The Never, Von Aaron for wrestling, sure. No, for no, seriously, okay. for everything. The Von Erics brought money to the part where they could have a football team in that city because of how much uh, 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 people they brought. Well, to hold the on, city. Are, you, are you saying that the Dallas Cowboys were the Von not Erics? Exist without the Von Erics? Mm, we'll see. I, 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 I don't, <laughs> right, I don't buy. I don't buy America's team was was by, by, done by the Von Erichs. Pro wrestling today would not exist without the Von Erichs. I believe that. Like, I believe that one hundred percent. I believe that one hundred percent. Yeah, like literally, the Von Erichs are like. Do you not understand? They literally were the first wrestling family to travel the entire world, not get shot at, not get fucking stabbed or try someone try to steal them or kidnap them or anything like that. They are seriously, they were a global like dude. One time they came down there in a plane coming from, from America to Israel, right? Yeah. Israel. When they showed up, literally 50,000 Fifty thousand people, like bombarded their airplane, and the plane had to take off and to go to a different airport. 
That's cool, man. That's, uh, that's, that's, uh, that's not wrestling fans, bro. 50,000 people. That's a lot of people. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Angelina Houston is going to be in the new John Wick film, Ballerina, with Anna D. Arms. Anna D. Arms, yeah. Uh, white boy Rick director Yeen Damage is to direct the Blade movie for Marvel Studios. I, I, I haven't seen white boy, Rick, but white boy Rick. Have you seen that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. It's a good movie. Okay. Really good movie. Okay. The film is set for September 6th of 2024. Affleck and Damien. Damien. That's what I said, Damien. You said Damien. Uh, are, launching, <laughs> are launching their own production company. I've, uh, for some reason, I thought they already had one. All yeah, right, me too. The Boston Boys are getting the team back up together as Ben Affleck and Matt Damon have announced they are launching a production company, Artist uh, Equality, will, with the goal of ensuring filmmakers can get more profit from their works. Cool. Uh, yeah, I mean... Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, I like Ben Affleck and Matt Damon together. Yeah, dude. I mean, they're amazing guys, and they, they get... Their penis sucked a lot because they're good looking. But uh-huh. anyway, uh, Lords of Chaos director Jonas Arkland is working on a G.G. Allen biopic. Okay, so who's working on it again? You have to mention this. I know there's a documentary called Jonas A. Jonas Arkland, the director uh, behind uh, Lords of Chaos oh, yeah, and Netflix's Clark. And poor, yeah. Okay, Um. yeah. Uh, G.G. Allen, like... I don't really like that guy, that him too much uh, because he's kind of racist. But uh, but uh, but yeah, man, he's kind of racist. <laughs> <laughs> he's kind of racist. Gigi Allen, did you, did you see that documentary about him? By um, by um, God, who's the guy who directed uh, the Hangover? Todd Phillips. Todd Phillips. He did a student film about Gigi Allen called Aided, and uh, that's about Gigi Allen. Uh, if you know, I mean, you should probably watch it. It's amazing. <laughs> Man, it is amazing. Uh, actually, here's the quote. This is exactly the type of real raw story I'm looking for at this film. It explores the u- ugly belly of the beast known as Kevin Allen, who came to be GG. Punk was already a genre about pushing limits, expanding on musical genres, and the definition of artistic expression uh, with really suck-ass music. At a time when <laughs> punk was thought to be dead, sold out, or too raw to survive, GG came into the seat bleeding, pissing, sinking in like no punk before because he sang music that no one understood, just like all of punk music. Lie, live, Fast die is about a sick person who should have who had should have asked for help. Gigi's strong personality was a gift, but his borderline di- personality disorder was not treated and killed him and punk music at the same time. Yeah, he uh, he, he shit on people. He shit, on, he shit in his hands and then smeared on his face and ran around and uh, yeah, it's crazy. I mean, that's punk rock. If you don't shit yourself, you're not punk rock. I've done it twice in my life. Backs, like as as an adult, rub shit in your face. No, no, shit myself. But both times I was just really sick. So, uh, yeah. Netflix's body swap comedy "Family Leave" to star Ed Helms and Jennifer Gardner. I like both those people. What a chance encounter with an astrologer reader causes the family to wake up to a full body switch on the morning of the most important day of each of their lives. Can the walkers unite to land a promotion, college interview, record deal, and soccer tryout? It sounds like a zany comedy. <laughs> Just like your face. Just like my face. Uh, the shirt, Red Shirt, the movie Red Shirt by which Channing Tatum has been picked up by Amazon, so they will be uh, supporting that. Yeah. Yeah. That's his James Bond like movie. Okay. Okay. I'm excited. We talked about it a couple weeks ago. Yeah, you, yeah. I'm sorry. You I remember. remember stuff. Uh, Bill Eichner, Billy, <laughs> Billy, Billy, Billy streets bros. Billy Eichner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is going to be streaming on Peacock in December. Yeah. I saw it. Sorry. So it's already, the, go watch it's already it. there. I saw it as it's, uh, I saw it was there last night. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Oh, I, I guess this was so, so you know that's your fault. Yeah, I'm, I'm we're gonna watch it. Um, <laughs> me and Leah don't watch it tonight. So. Barbarian director Zach uh Gregor now working on a new horror movie already. 
I'm excited for that. Dude, Barbarian was so good. <laughs> I'm still talking about how good that movie was. He's, he says, oh, thank you for asking. I'm staying now at a friend's house on the East Coast in a secluded cabin, and I'm writing it, and it's coming along. I'm not completely there yet, but I'm making my way more progress than I should. That I don't know where you heard me say that, but every day is getting better and better. So, yes, I am awesome. Feeling very positive. New horror movie is coming. I'm happy. You know what's going to also make you happy, Chris? What's that? A24 uh-huh. is selling a gingerbread house kit of the horrifying tree house from Heredity. Yeah, Hereditary. I saw that the other day, and I was like, I kind of want it. Really big, big time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, if you want to look it up, guys, you can look it up at shop dot eight twenty four films dot com backslash products backslash heredity uh, space hereditary, car yes. gingerbread slash par house. Yes, yeah, hereditary because heredity is a different thing. So that's why I said you said hereditary. hereditary. Yeah, there we right. go. Amazon is to invest $1 billion a year from now on into making featured films. Amazon? Okay, well, I hope so. Yep. <laughs> I, I heard that they were stopped doing uh, stuff if uh, the or the things didn't make money. So. They... They literally want the success of, like, Top Gun Maverick is what they're looking to do with each movie. I don't know if that's going to happen, man. I don't. You don't know? I ain't know. There is a new Nightmare on Elm Street. There was already a new one. Like, there was one, like, like, like 10 years ago. Do you remember that one? With the that James was Lee? 10 years ago. James Earl There's Lee? a new one now. It's called Dylan's New Nightmare. Which Dylan is the son of Heather in the movie New Nightmare by okay. Wes Craven. Yeah. And Dylan's New Nightmare shows the grown up Dylan uh, being stalked by Freddy Cougar because he's trying to come back to the world and he has to go through Dylan like he was trying to do in the. Are you excited for that? New Nightmare. I mean, it's not. It's made by like a second rank company. It's made by Womp Womp Stomp Films. Yeah, it's not New Line Cinema or anything. So I know it's not going to be Robert England. I'm not. I know. I don't know. Yeah, I got you, man. And the bis- biggest, greatest thing of the entire day. Are you ready? Yeah. Starting in February, the filming of Nobody Two will start. Hell yes. Hell yes, dude. I love nobody. Uh, anyone who listens to the show knows we love nobody. The movie. No, you don't love anybody at all. I love my wife. And that's all I got for now. Oh, okay. Um, I kind of, I try to cut down a few of them because, man, that, that, there's a lot. You want to talk to you real quick? That we have the trailer for Indy, Indy 5 and, uh, and what's the other trailer that dropped? There is, let's see, Indy 5 came out this week, Super Mario Brothers yeah. World. Um, your uh, your face wasn't your face. Yeah, face out, that, yeah, one? Yeah. I don't. There was your, one. Your face is. Oh yeah, in the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three trailer dropped as well. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three. Yeah. Um, again, your face. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's it, right? I'm trying to think of. No, there was another one. What was the other one? I know I sent you like six of them. You sent me. You sent me one. <laughs> oh, Transformers. Oh yeah, Transformers. Who gives a fuck. I can't wait. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, we're gonna have. I mean, how many Transformers have you seen? I've seen the first one and then Bumblebee, which is great. But Yeah, cool. You're going to have to watch all of them for that movie. You can watch Michael Bay movies? Okay. That was the movies don't suck and some of them new. Now, we'll talk our last movie. Finally, because Trick Chris took forever. Why are you always taking forever, Chris? Oh, yeah. It's, I mean, yeah, we're getting close to the end. Um, so, uh, we're talking Glass Onions, directed by Ryan Johnson. Ryan Johnson's directed things such as such as Knives Out. Also, uh, Looper. And uh, he did some episodes of Breaking Bad. He's done The Brothers Bloom. He did, he's done tons of shit. And Brick. 
And then, of course, fucking Knives Out. Knives Out is the shit. And this movie is also the shit. It stars... I think it was uh, dripping... Just being gross on the camera. Um, this stars Daniel Craig as Benoit Blanc. Sorry. Yes, you did. Yes, he did. Yes, you are. Uh, also, Edward Norton as Miles Braun. Hold the phone. You're telling me that Kidnet is finally ready to pursue a show of smoochy caliber. Also, uh, Kate Hudson as Birdie J. We are not groupies. Also, David T says, Duke Cody. Janelle Monae is Andy Brand. Your Honor, you of all people should understand the importance of being first. Also, Catherine Hahn, the great Catherine Hahn, as uh, Corey DeBella. Leslie Odom Jr. is Lionel Toussaint. Jessica Henwick is Peg. Madam Klein is Whiskey. And Noah Sagan as Daryl. And also, there's a few, um, there's a few, uh, a few cameos that I don't want to give away. Why don't you go ahead and read the story on for this one? Famed Southern detective Benyon Blanc travels to Greece for his latest case. That's all it says. Yeah, that's all it says, and that's all we need to know. Moves over. Is <laughs> it? Says, no. you, know what we need yeah. you know what we need to know? <laughs> yeah, you mm-hmm. know, I know we can, that mute the mic and I have to cut that shit out of the podcast. You know that, right? I know, it's great. It's amazing. I love making more work for you. Uh, that's fine. Uh, so, uh, last thing, and I said, mystery. This is no longer in theaters. It'll be back in Netflix on the twenty third. Or the it's the, already out of theaters. Yeah, yeah, it was only one week there. It was only there for one week, and you like got to see it. Oh, that makes sense. Why I couldn't find it anywhere? Yeah, it's a it's. But I'm gonna say there was only three seats available in my theater. And so you, your wife, and your who saw you? No, 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 no. I said, there's only three seats left in the entire theater. Uh Uh-huh. Oh, when you were there. Okay, gotcha. (laughs) Yes. What the fuck? Why would I take? No. I was like, you said the three seats left and you took them all. Uh, You you and three people. But no. No, they were very much, it was a full, I mean, we're talking the front row was packed. Yeah, yeah. When we went and saw it, me and my wife, it was fucking almost sold out. And uh, because I... I mean, people love Knives Out, and I love Glass Onion. I love this movie. <laughs> this movie's the shit. It's awesome. Do you like it? Neil's just trying to find pictures of bald people again. Um, you, 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 I forget you're drunk. I keep forgetting that, that you're still drunk. I'm not drunk, dude. I'm sober. Uh-huh. Stop uh-huh. trying to trying to say stuff. Uh, tell me, man. What do you, what do you want to talk? Well, how do you want to talk about this movie? Because again, it's a mystery, so we can see the concept. And everything else is a surprise. This movie surprised the fuck out of me. I was I was um okay. How do we talk about this? One? Okay, so one, this is a murder mystery again. Uh-huh. Um, it is uh, it is uh Daniel Craig, and so the whole point of this movie is that he's trying to uh, heal the world through a poker game, uh, trying to be a guy called, uh, uh, you know, lacrosse. And he has to beat him in this poker game. Uh, if he doesn't win this poker game, then th- he will fund his world terrorized uh, organism. Wait a minute. No, that's Wait, that's, that's, that's just Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. Anyway, um, this is another who's who. People getting in a house, someone dies, and figuring out. This is what I like to call this at this point now. I believe these are called, like, clue mysteries. Yeah, yeah. I think you're right. Because you get a bunch of characters in a house, someone did it, and you got to figure out who did it, how they got the weapon, how they got, you know, like. Yeah, Ed, and where? Edward Norton. <laughs> Knocked it out of the park as being a so stuck good. up asshole, so good, a rich, uh, rich billionaire yeah. bitch. Yeah. Um, Kate Hudson played um, uh, Where, a celebrity slut really well. Where's she been? Um, she's taking time off, I guess. Kate Hudson, she I hadn't seen her in anything until recently, until this one, dude. She's been in shit the entire time, okay. bro. All right, if you say so. Do you not look at these people's filmography before yeah, you come I, on I, the I, show, bro? Okay, uh. By the way, a Mona G- Lisa and the Blood Moon, Trouble, Truth Be Told, uh, Music, Sia Together, A Story Takes Flight. Like, literally, like, oh, all those oh you're right. She took, she took time off 
between 2019 and 2017. You know why? They have a fucking kid, you yeah. asshole. I didn't say I didn't, anyway. say I didn't say anything wrong. I just said I hadn't seen her. Where she been? I didn't say like she shouldn't have taken time yeah, off. Did. Take care yeah, of her. I never yeah, said that, did. dude. You, you, I, like, I fucking never paid. said that. Anyway. Uh, also, uh, um, Janelle Winnie, fantastic. Uh, I said this uh, back. Yes, when she, she played like five parts in this movie. So, uh, like, I can't remember how many parts she played. She the she same played year, uh, the same year, she did Moonlight and uh, and um, Hidden Figures. And I said that year, I'd be fine if she's in every movie. Yeah, I'd still be fine. If she's in every movie. Janelle Winnie is amazing, uh, and of course Daniel Craig, fantastic. Just love him, love him, fantastic. Dude. Uh, during an interview with Stephen Colbert, um, Daniel Craig is now the spokesperson for Belvedere uh, Vodka. Uh-huh. And so they're drinking the whole time. And um, Daniel Craig's like, man, he asked him, he goes, which do you like better, playing in the the uh, Knives Out films or being James Bond, you know? And he goes, well, those are two different, completely different experiences. But he goes... But I don't have to go to the hospital after I film these movies. <laughs> yeah, I know he loves playing this character, and uh, I love him being this character. Like, I couldn't wait to see it. more time with Bill yeah. Um The person that loved, but let's just be honest, the person that stole this entire movie was Dave Batista, because there's nothing sexier than a man in a Speedo with a gun attached to it. I don't know if he stole the movie, but he's really good in it. He stole the whole movie, yeah, like two, literally. For you, best scenes, best scenes in the entire movie were Dave Batista by far. Mm. I'm, gonna, yes. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go with the with the give give him an Oscar already. <laughs> He's like an Oscar for this movie. He was great though. Dave Batista needs an Oscar for this movie. Catherine Hahn needs an Oscar for yeah, every she's movie great. she's in. She's great. Um, I don't know who the rest of these people are though. And, and we're, <laughs> Edward Norton, uh, Norton, he is all right. You got, you guys, keep your eyes open for some famous people. Um, we don't want to tell you there are because they're because to me that's a spoiler. Right? There's like six cameos in this thing, right? Is there cameos? Yeah, cameos. I don't know if you can really call it cameos. Yeah, cameos. Like uh, at least uh, one, two, six other people that are pretty famous <laughs> in this movie that that, that that show up just for a second. Um, sure, we'll go with that. Okay. But, um, if they're not in it for more than five seconds, are they really famous? You just gave away two of the cameos. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't know what you're talking about. Here we go. I, I'll, I'll go okay. to uh, anyway. uh, <laughs> If you guys were watching it, Neil just gave away two of them. You asshole. <laughs> but, uh, uh, I thought it was, uh, Touching to the fact it's both their last movies. Oh well, I guess I guess that's fair. I guess that's fair. You're not wrong. Yeah, yeah, dick. Anyway, uh, anyway, this movie was really good. It was uh, again a whodunit um, mystery. The acting in this was just disturbing. Edward Norton playing off of Daniel Craig in many scenes was just ridiculous. Uh, each person played their character to heart. Like Dave Batista was playing like the Infowars guy, whatever his name is. Alex Jones. Um, yeah, Alex Jones, who you know is now best friends with Kanye West, I guess. Well, Kanye um, West. Oh, you mean you mean the uh, uh, noted anti-Semite Kanye West? What the fuck is going on with that guy, man? Dude, he was on Infowars yesterday, yeah, yeah, yeah. and he told people how much he liked Hitler, and okay. he thought Nazis this, weren't bad. This day before yesterday, and then later on that day, he tweeted swastikas on his, on his Twitter, and they banned him again. <laughs> like, like, he just, like, I thought he would back away, but he's just going over and over on it again. Full, full crazy. Full crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, Dave Batista kind of plays uh, the Alex Jones kind of character. Uh, except for it was more boner pills and, <laughs> and powder shakes. Um, Kate Hudson plays like a uh, uh, fashion model, um, Hollywood Scarlet that, mm-hmm. that's coming to the downfall. Edward Norton's the billionaire. Uh, Catherine Hahn plays a senator. Like the, the list of just everything they do in this movie is 
it, it's it's really fun and oh it's a fun movie it's has, such a fun movie everything has a meaning and um so to give you kind of an idea an hour into this movie um Benyon, uh Ben uh Ben Wall Blanc. Uh-huh. I know how to say Ben Wall. Literally, freaking one of the most famous uh-huh. pro wrestlers of all time yeah. was Chris Ben Wall. Anyway, Ben Wall Blanc, um, literally was like, I know how I did how everything went down. Like an hour in, and I was just like, dude, this movie is two hours and fifteen minutes. You better fucking give me some goddamn filler right now. And. It, it wasn't that they needed to fill. What they did is they actually went back and showed you everything you've just seen. Yeah. Differently. But what you actually missed the whole time. It's amazing. And this, this movie is uh, it, incredible. It was awesome. It's incredible. Yeah, movie. and so it, it is a really good um, murder mystery. Uh, it's right up there with Knives Out. Or I, oh, you can't really I, I think say which a, one's better. I honestly like this one a little bit more, I think. Oh, because Dave Batista and Speedo. See, I knew it did it for you. I, I don't know that one. That's it, but I just... You're a big Dave Batista and the Speedo guy, aren't you? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm a big Dave, Dave Batista and Drax guy, though. You like Dave Batista and Speedo? Yeah. All right, uh, what's the... We got close to this You know one? when he's Drax, his nipples are sensitive? <laughs> yeah, I got you, dude. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, you got the quotes for this one? I'm sure I do somewhere. Okay. Um Welcome to our office campaign. Oh, yeah. Welcome to our office campaign center and kindergarten. We are losing our fucking minds. This is science, not a religion. She's afraid we'll tweet something unethical again. (laughs) No, Jimmy Kimmel. I do not hate boobs. (laughs) <laughs> hope your puzzle skills are up to par because you will also be solving I can't my what? murder so it says oh yeah my murder <laughs> yeah words man it's hard uh my my mind is a race car and all fueled up and nowhere to go Question, I, why did he invite her? Question is, why did she show up? Uh-huh. Yeah. This rich people shit is weird. <laughs> Are you willing to break the thing that no one wants you to break? Did you cry in the movie? I cried in the movie. I don't think I cried. I did. There's a part at the end that made me so upset. I almost wanted to walk out of the film. You want to walk out of the movie? Okay. All right. Why is where's this little fly coming from? I got a fly. And I don't understand little gnat. I don't know where the hell it came from. Sorry, pal. I mean, yeah, they're trying to get the warmth. It's cold outside. It's like twenty degrees outside. 20, yeah, twenty four here. Uh, you're muted. You went on uh, Oprah and compared yourself to Harry Tubman. You're you're just so you're, yeah. What? You're uh you were delayed for a second in your video. Oh, okay, here five four C two one. You went on Oprah and compared yourself to Harry Tubman. <laughs> it's a dangerous thing to speak without thought and compare it to the truth. This is a smokeless garden. This is a smokeless garden. (laughs) What am I supposed to do? Play Yahtzee all weekend? You get a Google alert for the word movie? Yeah, (laughs) I like movies. (laughs) Fake it till you make it. I will pay you $1 billion to tell me who tried to murder me. (laughs) The dog ate the caviar again. This shit never happens in Clue because it's a terrible fucking game. (laughs) Shit balls. What is reality? 
It's so dumb, it's brilliant. No, it's just dumb. <laughs> you will lie for a lie, but not lie for the truth. And I can't read the last thing. Okay. So that's good. Okay, so what's your score on this one? Uh, 4.5. Guys, yeah, I'm with you on that one, 4.5. If you guys are new to this, we do our scores between 0 and 5. Yeah, 4.5 for me in this one. I, I, I love this movie. This movie's this shit. It's a great movie. I'm going to watch it a hundred times. I've watched Knives Out twice yeah, yeah. since I was seeing this movie yeah. because I just want to see more of Bignon Blanc. Yeah, Bignon Blanc's the shit. Um, so I'm on RottenTomatoes.com. What is the audience score for this one? Negative two. 93. Uh, what do you, they have audience well, Really, dude? I, I, I said negative two, and you're like, yeah, I ain't going to even give him a second chance. He's uh, screwed up himself. So a, gla- a glass onion and a nice out mystery solves the often deadly riddle of how to deliver a satisfying sequel to, to a movie that was nearly perfect to begin with. Okay. Now, what is the audience score for a glass onion? What? I'm sorry. What is the critic score for glass onion on this one? 91. 93. Again. Nice. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, Chris, yeah. Chris consensus is Glass Onion Nice Out Mystery brings back Benoit Blanc for another wildly entertaining mystery rounded out by an outstanding ensemble cast. Yeah. I can't I, I, I can't I don't have enough I can't say enough nice things about Glass Onion Nice Out Mystery. So I think that's it. That, that we're, I think that you know that, that's it, right? I can't believe I made it through this. I'm going to go back to bed. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Me too. Uh, we'll see if the puppy... I need a nap before I do anything for the day. I am still... I'm exhausted. I only got like four and a half hours sleep. I got like... like I can't believe you made me do this early. No, you chose this time. I said I said noon. <laughs> but he was like, no, I can't... Well, I, I didn't know what was going to occur. I, I didn't know it was going to go the first Friday last night. You and, told me first you know, Friday. So 10 o'clock is what you said. <laughs> Yeah, I got first race at 10 o'clock. I'm like, okay. But, um, okay. Well, I, you can find us online, movies on stuff on network, Facebook, Facebook.com, so it's on podcast. We're on Twitter, NGS Podcast. We're on Instagram, NGS Podcast. Uh, we're on Patreon, Patreon.com, so it's movies on suck. Uh, Gunfirefire.com, so it's movies on suck. It's something to do for merch. And, uh, uh, if you're watching this YouTube, go on Twitter, watch this on Facebook, like that page. And, uh, Email us info moves don't suck dot net or moves don't suck podcast gmail dot com, and uh, we're from podcasts from moves don't suck and some they do. And uh, Neil, you gotta wake up. What do you guys see? No, wait, 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 small business. Um, yeah, buy the new T-shirts. Uh, I, I I thought it was a good one. The pro <laughs> science, pro choice, pro wrestling. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was a good, yeah, I thought it was funny. Okay. Anyway, small business, if you got some information, if you're a place that wants to just be advertised, let us know. Send us your information. Send it at chrisowen.com uh, or send <laughs> <No>. it. <laughs> Info at moosedonsuck.net or from moosedonsuckpodcast.com. Yeah. Just send it anywhere, and we'll be more happy to promote you and your business to our thousands of listeners, or millions of followers out there in the Internet world. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, you good? I think that's it for the day. Um... Yeah. That's another episode of the movie's no second something. My name's Neil. I'm Chris. Yeah, it's like, what, what, what's taking you so long there? The, the, we, have a, we have a delay. You, you want to start that all over now? Yeah. Have a delay? Yeah, you were also breaking up, so let's start this over. Sorry. Are you sure? Are you okay? That's another episode of Movies No Second Stuff to Do. My name's Neil. I'm Chris. And remember, guys, no matter what the menu is, remember if you're going to order food, don't order glass onions. The shards will rip out your gums. Have a good night. Mm-hmm.